Hello everyone and welcome to a new video for Age of Empires. This is Kincaid and in this video we're going to talk about heroes. Uh, to be more specific, we're going to talk about hero talents. I know it sounds confusing at first when you look at all this tree. Uh, you're kind of lost, not sure what exactly you need to focus on. Well, before we get to upgrade anything, we're just going to take a look at the stats and we're going to try to have some basic understanding for the stats that we need to invest in. So uh, in this one, I'm going to focus on Harold the third. I'm using Harold in uh, the main squad that I'm using right now, which is uh, Mayamoto, Harold, and Tripona. I upgraded the talents for Mayamoto. I have no idea what I put points on, but this is how it looks like right now. But for Harold, we're going to try to focus on what exactly do we need from him. So Harold, I believe, is some kind of a basic... Uh, a physical uh, damage dealer so in order to get access you have to follow the line so we, we have to start by this and the first one the military tactic mastery uh, let's just try to understand what is going on here after the unit size which is activated the hero's bonus attribute increases from 5 to 10 percent for every additional hero of the same unit uh, type specialty in a troop additionally increases the hero's bonus attribute from 5 to 10 percent all right, so this is that means that the hero uh, bonus increases from five to ten for every additional hero of the same unit. That explains the huge bonus that I have since I'm using uh, Maya, Moro, Harold, and which are the same type of heroes. This one here increases might. I believe this has some effect on the physical damage. Increases might by three. This one increases the normal attack damage by. 1.5 percent doesn't uh, really get any simpler than this this one increases the commander's kill damage by 0.75 percent also take effects when this hero acts as the commander uh, this one here increases the commander's damage by 0.6 percent also increase take effect uh, this one upgraded to two but i'm not sure when we upgrade this it does not increase in here so we're just going to invest two points in here since it sounds OP. I mean, uh, increases the damage that you deal by 1.2% uh, 1 is actually huge. The last one actually is kind of useless since it increases the XP that your troops receive by 5%. I don't think I need this in the beta phase. So I'm going to ignore it for now. However, if you're looking forward to upgrade a hero in the official server, this will be a huge help. The failed battle XP. Uh, next, we have to upgrade this one here. It increases the troops' might by uh, the the might damage by 4.5 percent. This is a huge percentage, so let's just go ahead and upgrade it. Right now, we can go either right or left. The right is a defensive stats, as I understood it. This one here increases the troops' might. No, this is the main stat. This one here reduces the troops' damage taken by 0.5. 4%. This one here, I believe it increases your commander's damage by 0.6%. So the right side is kind of defensive, the left side is offensive. So let's just go to the left side. Uh, this one increases the normal attack damage by one. Hopefully, it increases because I'm not sure if I'm wasting my points or it's something regarding the beta phase. So this is not the official launch. So we can just, you know, uh, let this pass. This one increases the skill damage. Yeah, skill damage is really important. Is it laggy? Yeah, it's lag lagging a bit. Uh, we already... Uh, so this one increases the skill damage. Really important. This one increases the commander skill damage by... Uh, okay, this is also good. This one increases the normal attack damage. Okay, more damage, the more damage, the better. This one increases the hero's might. This one increases the hero's armor. So this is the only defensive stat, I believe, on the left side. Let's take a look at the right side. We can actually advance to the next one. But reducing the damage by 0.4% is actually really good. This one here reduces the troops damage taken from normal attacks. This one here reduces the damage taken from skills. I think both are good. Increase the troops damage. 
when attacking tribes i don't really need this i don't have any trouble attacking tribes use the troops defense when gathering that's kind of useless uh hero siege freeze hero strategy not sure what does strategy do but anyway let's just continue on i think we can upgrade this the damage taken or uses the damage taken from skills and then we can keep going this one activates the hero's military speciality with two heroes sharing the same speciality in a troop they receive a 20 percent bonus for all attributes if three heroes share the speciality the bonus increases to 30 percent since we are using three heroes that means we can get up to 30 percent this is really cool uh okay as usual the right side is the defensive stats the left side is the defensive stats increase your commander's damage by 0.6 percent okay this one increases hero's armor. This one increases hero's might. Gathering speed. We don't really need the gathering speed right now. We have a lot of resources, so we're not going to gather uh, any resources, at least in this uh, server. However, in the official server, we're, we're definitely going to need something like this to gather resources faster. Increases hero's strategy. Not sure what does strategies do. So we're going to ignore this for now. Uh, reduces the troops damage taken this is really important this is siege resource gained as usual we don't really need resources when your commander deals skill damage there is a 25 percent chance to increase the damage by 15 percent okay uh reduces the troops damage taken from normal attacks this is a defensive stat this is weird this was supposed to be defensive with damage taken from skills okay let's uh, let's upgrade both we have still we still have 12 points truce damage taken gathering uh this is might strategy this is seed when attacking tribes in the world increase the troops defense when gathering so in order to unlock this we need to invest more three points and i think we're gonna put more points into might two points here no this is only one point okay one here this is when gathering okay one here we can unlock this right now for the first 18 seconds of battle reduces your troops damage taken by six percent oh this is really good health bonus uh okay let's upgrade this another health bonus we have three points right now increase the troops damage in soul world battles this is the rally battles Increase the troops attack bonus. This is in all situations. So of course we're going to go for this. This is a siege. Uh, we upgraded this. Solo warlord battles. Rally battles. I don't really like the situational buffs. Because in some situations it will be completely useless. For example if I upgraded this in a rally. The talent itself will be useless in the rally and if i upgraded this it will be good in the rally however it will be useless in the solo battles however this kind of buff will be useful in both situations so it increased the troops defense bonus by 1.5 percent however it will be useful whether it is a solo battle or a rally so of course i'm gonna go for this one i have one more point we cannot get access to this yet we need to invest five more points in here and of course we can get five more points since the hero is not maxed yet so let's let's uh, upgrade uh, let's upgrade the strategy and this was a quick look on the hero talents this one here reduces your troops damage taken by three percent this is really good and this one increases armor troops defense siege troops attack and might anyway this is how i'm just distrib distributing my hero talent points so far 
and I'm not 100% sure. I think I need to figure out what does the might do, what does the uh, siege and strategy do, since these stats will be so important in our uh, heroes that we're using in the game. Anyway, this will be all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful day.